Hey guys, it's Paula, and if you haven't noticed already, my hair has been cut, and it kind of looks really bad to me. Um, a note for you people who dye your hair a lot, do not cut your hair and then bleach it. Because that is what I did, because I decided to cut my hair to get all the dead ends off, and then I didn't remember that I had just cut my hair, and I ended up dyeing it late that night because I didn't realize it and so I bleached it and so it broke off and made it even shorter so it's supposed to be short but not quite this short like my bangs are literally like that long in this video I am going to be talking to you guys a little bit about my life update um, I'm going to be doing these videos every now and then just to keep you guys informed on what's going on you know outside of just Travis and stuff um, and if you don't follow my Facebook, um, it's another way I can kind of summarize some stuff. Starting Monday, I go back to school, I go back to high school, and I finish my last three classes, which I am taking Earth and Space for Science. I am taking regular English because I suck at English, and I am not doing another Honors English ever again. I went three years doing Honors English, and it sucks, and I'm not having another C on my English. Yeah, I had a C, I think. A C or a B? I think it was a C. And lastly, I have Government and Economics, which I hope I do well in. I'm not that great in history, so hopefully I will do well in that. I'm eating bread. My school has uniforms, and that's another thing that I really hate. Um, I know a lot of kids hate uniforms, and for you people who don't have uniforms at your school, and you think your, you know, rear rules are, you know, strict already, imagine having a uniform. It's, like, even worse. And our uniforms are not that bad compared to my old school, which was a private school, and it was terrible. I hate uniforms now. I used to not care because I used to wear a uniform since I was like three years old. I didn't go to public school until I was seven. No, until I was in seventh grade. So I went all those years without ever being in public school and the largest class I'd ever, ever been in had 21 students and we had to split them up into two separate classrooms. So going to public school was very different and their uniforms to me were like not strict at all. Now I realize they're not strict that much either. Actually, they're pretty, pretty strict now. It's just really stupid stuff. Like, once you have a baby, like, you're not going to get all your pregnancy weight off by the time you go to school normally, if you're still in high school, which, obviously, if you're a teen and you're pregnant, you're probably still going to high school. And so, if you have uniforms, I have to go out now and buy more uniform clothes that are one size bigger because I only went one size up and it sucks because freaking uniforms are not that cheap especially now I think I have to go to Aeropostal I think because our Hollister closed down and it's really stupid because I don't even go to Hollister or Aeropostal just because they're name brand I go there because that's the only uniforms that fit to my body sucks really bad I can't go to Walmart and get them because I mean even Walmart's going up on their prices and it's so stupid <sighs> so, yeah. we also got laptops issue this year and I don't know how many of you guys have laptops at your school I've never used a laptop in high school or really like for sport besides um, like ancient dinosaur computers that we have at our school from like 2000 and it was and it's to do um, online school for one block and that's it so uh, we've never had laptops that are like freaking Mac and I hate Mac I absolutely despise Mac I want to freaking run that laptop over with like a dumpster truck just because it's a Mac because they are just so annoying and I've used them before it's just the way they're set up to me I just why can't we just use Windows it's not that hard to understand like 99% of this 
freaking world knows how to use it, or at least country. And the laptops are $65, and I am required to get them. They are not just issued to us like a textbook. We have to buy them, and it's really, it's so stupid because what if we can't afford it? Like, if my mom was not paying for it, I could not afford that right now. I mean, I have a son. I have other expenses. I can't afford a laptop. And I know that if the charger or something else goes wrong with it, you have to pay, I think it's $70 maybe to get it fixed. So I, I hope that goes well because I've heard a lot of bad things about the computers for this year and the students just hate them and they're just so hard to use for the teachers because our teachers are technically challenged. Most of them are. Only very few of them are not. Very challenging for our teachers. I know last year when they showed us the laptops, um, the student handed one of the teachers, hey, here's my report, and she handed her the laptop, and the teacher actually thought it was a notebook that you write in, and she was like, you can't hand me this, it has to be typed, and she's like, that's a laptop. At our school, we actually do not have very many pregnancies at all. We've, I've probably seen only one or two pregnant girls and they lasted two days there and then transferred. My school is just not known for that. We have another school <coughs> um, 10 minutes away and that's the one that all the girls get pregnant, all the girls get knocked up, so my school just makes fun of them, so I'm going to see how that goes. But in my grade also, there's another girl that got married. So another uh, update is the fact that if you have been following me on my Facebook, at least I think I have posted it, I'm pretty sure I have, but I might not have, is the fact that I'm soon going to be a military wife. And I'm really excited. Um, it's going to be a great experience and a great thing for our family. My husband is going to go into the Air Force, and he is going to go in there into the Air Force for mechanical, I think. He's deciding be between mechanical and electrical because it's a six month wait and it's for those two only. If he wanted to go for something he really wanted to go for, which he doesn't even know what he wants to go to school for, but if he were to know, he'd have to wait about a year. It's about a year's wait in the Air Force is what the recruiter told us, but for mechanical and electrical it's only six months. So that's great and it's kind of disappointing at the same time because of the fact that we need the money now, we need all the benefits, we need the insurance, but you know, we've made it this far without that stuff, so I think we can last a little bit longer. Um, for you people out there that are military wives, um, feel free to comment below and tell me a little bit about what to expect. I have no idea, no military background in my family at all, um, but he does, so that's the reason why he wants to go. I'm kind of like nervous with the whole military thing. Like, I like traveling, but I don't like meeting new people, really. Like, I'm very shy when it comes to stuff like that. I'm very kind of not, I'm not anti-social. It's just kind of hard when I go to a brand new place. I don't know anybody. So that's going to be a little ch uh, challenging for my part. But he's super excited because he really wants to go to Japan and wants to go to all these places. And I'm like, completely supportive of him and I will freaking go wherever as long as it's good for our family. A little bit of an update, if you have followed me on my Facebook then you definitely saw this post if you keep up to, with me. It's a post I posted maybe a month ago, yeah it was a month ago, before Christmas where I was completely in a rant. I was so freaking mad. I can't believe it like I just can't believe it just happened. Um, we got a call, Corey got a call from his boss, who is my boss, who is also my godfather, saying that he was fired for no reason. There was no reason given, but he said that I tried to help you out in school and you just didn't do it, so you don't even show up to work tomorrow, or to work this weekend which is completely stupid because of the fact that we could not afford for Corey to go to school anymore and the fact that of our bills and traveling to the school because it's almost an hour's drive away 
he has a truck and it's not very gas efficient and he has to have about I want to say 17 maybe 16 hours a week of school um, so he had to have he had to go he would have to drive to school come back here then drive back to school in the same day we could not afford the gas he had his school completely paid for we had no money to pay for tuition nothing and we still could not afford it we have a kid and we have other expenses we could barely afford to travel so it was a big slap in the face it was right before Christmas it was his only job he only worked two days a week he was not considered full-time so we could not get unemployment which I mean that was the only thing we thought of and then we were told we could not buy a family member so we didn't even bother with it it, it, it wasn't even worth it and in the state I live in you don't have to have a reason for firing someone it was really wrong because we he knows we have a kid he knows that we're trying and just because my husband stopped going to school because we could not afford it he made us more in debt by taking away his you know his way to provide for us and I work for him too and I have to start work Friday actually I was going to quit because it was just I didn't want anything to do with him but Corey has been trying for months to find another job and he still hasn't been able to find another job so I mean we need some income that's why that's why he's so eager to get into the military because then we won't have to stress about money and all that and paying for bills and tapping into savings because that's all we've been living off of is our savings and we have like our own business where we sell, we sell paracord bracelets and it's those little military bracelets if you don't know that a lot of people are wearing nowadays we sell those at stores and that was like our only income so it wasn't much but it was something and that's the only reason we've been able to make it you know somewhat we've had to tap into savings and it's just it's not the best thing but you know we're working on it and we're gonna figure it out you scared the crap out of me stop don't you knock <laughs> But don't you knock so like I know you're walking in, you don't just open the door and I hear a screeching noise and I don't think it's like a monster attacking me. Okay, then go to sleep on the bed. Wait, 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 I'm done. Move your hand. Hello. You can't see me. Please move your hand from the camera so that I can be seen. No, that's a part of your hand. I'm all sideways. Okay, so that is it for this video. And if you have not already, go like my Facebook page, which is in the link below. And feel free to subscribe. You should tell there too. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys.